I saw, see Ruby Falls, see Ruby Falls. And Ruby Falls existed only in my imagination. Unfortunately, I don't think I had ever been to see Ruby Falls until last year. But uh, it's part of my identity, I think, as an American. And, and in a way, New Wave Ruby Falls is, will become part of the American identity. Artists' rejection office there for a while. That, uh, because artists usually went to NASA with their hands out. They expected, generally, money to flow in the wrong direction. The gas payload is a private payload. It's commercially available to, uh, to industry, educational institutions, and even individuals uh, for fee. I pay NASA, actually. NASA doesn't pay me. But the, but the cost of the payload is really a fraction of the actual cost. It's a special sort of get acquainted off. And the installment plan, with money he earns as a sculptor and motorcycle mechanic. But that doesn't cover the expensive hardware and testing he needs to make Ruby Falls work. The High Voltage Research Lab at MIT provides most of the technical assistance. But for the hardware, he relies on donations from high-tech manufacturers who are eager to see their products used. NASA has a policy called human benefit, which really means technical benefit. And it came down from the Nixon era uh, that NASA should embrace no project or payload that doesn't represent real tangible benefits in terms of scientific research and development. The art, the NASA would have said, well, fly the science and leave the art at home. But uh, so what had, what had to be uh, designed was a project that so efficiently integrated um, these two concepts or perspectives that they couldn't be separated. And so by part of the practical benefit as far as NASA and the scientific community see in the Ruby Falls project is actually documenting, observing that uh, that relation as to where shuttle is and to where the aurora is. Could an artist, could an individual uh, pull something like this off? I'm convinced. Uh, I've been to, to talk to officials at the European Space Agency, at Ariane Space and Erno, and, uh, and the, the idea that an individual can, that technology is so accessible and so adaptive that an individual could create or could work with um, on this kind of scale or order of magnitude is something that is only American. It's big and it's crazy. And uh, uh, some, that's something that's kind of really important to me. I think uh, it's important that, uh, that, that I represent America too, along with the military that you were talking about, that space shuttle is for the Air Force. And, but space shuttle is also for me. And, uh, I mean, it's maybe only a small and minuscule part, and maybe even NASA will use it as some kind of public relations gesture or whatever, but still, it, it makes me a kind of ambassador. And, uh, and that's a role that I think is vital to be filled by somebody like me.